Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs in the Cosmos ecosystem. Welcome back to another episode of the Cosmos 365 Challenge, where I'm trying to outperform Bitcoin by investing $1,000 into the Cosmos ecosystem each month for a year, and then comparing that to my performance had it just dollar cost average the same thousand dollars each month into bitcoin instead so just looking at my portfolio at the moment um, from the first thousand dollars that i've put in i'm already down to 990 dollars that's primarily due to a drop in the astral token price um, i invested a hundred dollars a few days ago and now that's down to 90 dollars what I'm going to look at today is Nolus Protocol, a DeFi lease protocol in the Cosmos ecosystem. Just looking at their DAP, these are the assets that I can deposit and do things with in Nolus. And there's two sides, there's leasing and there's earning or lending. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm actually going to deposit $100 worth of USDC into Nolus and that is going to earn me quite a nice yield, 6.42% in USDC, as well as 14% in NOLUS tokens. So essentially just for depositing some USDC, I'm going to get over 20% yield on that. And then after I've done that, I'll go into this lease section. Sorry. Well, I will go into this lease section um, and show you how I can go about leasing some assets on NOLUS. So step one is i'm not actually going to use tfm ibc transfer for these transfers nolus actually takes the assets directly from osmosis so rather than assets coming from their home chain they're coming nolus wants the osmosis version of the assets um, so if i'm going to send and receive i want to receive from osmosis and if i select usdc it should hopefully pick up my balance okay so this is showing me my osmosis balance here and we'll say a hundred dollars hit receive and then i should see so yeah, it so the fee is going to be an osmo fee that's fine just confirm this transaction in my wallet so i suppose this is a deeper discussion but for example, if I was sending, say, Atom across IBC, the Atom always has to be routed service sending Atom from Osmosis over to Comdex. That Atom has to be routed through the Cosmos Hub so that it's usable on the other side. But unlike most Cosmos app chains, Nolus actually wants the Osmosis version of Atom, so it doesn't want Atom coming direct from the Cosmos Hub. Um, so typically, Axelar USDC would get routed via Axelar and then to the destination chain, but Nolus doesn't want that. Nolus wants the Osmosis version of Axelar USDC. So I've now got that into my Nolus account or onto the Nolus app chain, sorry. Um, and if I go into this earn section, I can now just deposit this $100. Well, I could do, except I don't have any um, Nolus for gas. So let's work out what I need to do here. Right, yeah, so we can see that I've got the $100 there. Surprising, where did I deposit? Okay, there, I could supply there. Um, supply it all so if I try to supply this it's going to say I need some Nolus don't have any Nolus yet so I better go and get some going over to TFM pro trade section osmosis um, I'm going to swap USDC and now you can see that's gone down from 700 to 600 I want to get some Nolus token actually I'm not going to use the USDC I'm going to use the Osmo I've got um, 0.2 of an Osmo should be plenty. Okay, and just sign this in my wallet. Now, once that's gone through, I'll be able to bring the Nolus tokens over here, so then I'll have gas 
on Nogus. So again, I want to receive. Um, this is the network that I'm going to be receiving from. I need to select Osmosis. Nolus tokens, and you can see that swap's gone through. Just bring all of this Nolus across. Sign that in my wallet. And if you remember from the first episode, I kept refreshing on the Pulsar dashboard, going, why is it not updating? Why is it not updating? That is essentially to stop people spamming Pulsar. Um, I think updates go through after a certain period of time. Um, I mean, you can see that this one's gone through already. That was the $100 that got sent over to Nolus. Right, here we are. So that's gone through. I've now got some Nolus for gas. I can go into this earn section and I'm going to supply all these $100 and that's going to get me a 20% yield. So, I mean, essentially, this is the aim of the Cosmos 365 challenge. I want to end the year with more cash money than I'm putting in, always remembering to take profits and earning some yield in stables. Right, so that's gone through auto compounding. That's lovely. And then I think I'll get, so, okay, I'll be able to claim my Nolus rewards here. And what's pretty cool, I can also then stake Nolus tokens for another bit of yield. So this 20% is going to be a bit more than 20%. So that's nice. Right, I can't do leasing yet because I don't have any other assets on chain. That's kind of interesting. I started off with $100 and now I've got 200 <laughs> Okay, there we go. Refresh that. That's fine. Right, what I'm thinking of doing is if I buy $100 worth of wrapped ETH and then borrow or lease another $100 of wrapped ETH from Nolus, I'll then have double the exposure to wrapped ETH. And then hopefully when that goes up in price, up in value, I'll be able to pay off my lease and I'll have more money than when I started. Let's get back over to TFM. I'm going to use USDC to buy some wrapped ETH and go for $100. There we go, swap that. Sign the transaction. Now in Nolus, I mean, just because I'm going to deposit wrapped ETH, that doesn't mean I then have to lease wrapped ETH. I could, I don't know, I could deposit wrapped Bitcoin and then lease ST Atom, whatever I want. So pretty cool, pretty flexible. And again, I'm going to have to use Nolus to deposit this wrapped ETH. So I want to receive, pick the network that I'm receiving it from. Osmosis, I want to receive, there we are, wrapped ETH, and there's my balance. Bring it all over. Sign the transaction, that's nice. Okay, so that's all pretty quick. If I just refresh, hopefully we'll see that. Okay, there we go. So I've got some wrapped ETH. Now, then because I've deposited some assets, I can now lease using this wrapped ETH. Okay, so I mean, I can lease any asset here. So just as I was saying, if I wanted to lease ST Atom, I can do that down payment. The only as asset I can use for the down payment is the wrapped ETH because that's all I've deposited. I'm going to use all of my deposit, but I'm actually going to lease wrapped ETH as well. Okay, I'm not going to borrow the full amount. I want to borrow that amount there. So that's essentially just doubling up. And I've got about $100 here and I'm going to borrow $100 worth of wrapped teeth. It's giving me interest that I'm going to be charged and that gets locked in. I wonder if the interest changes. 
Okay, so the interest is going to be the same regardless of how much I decide to lease. So the way I'm understanding it is my collateral gets locked, the assets that I'm leasing. So un unlike where, like on a money market, where you put down some collateral and then you can borrow a fraction of that collateral and then you get immediate access to what you borrow, that's not what's happening here. So I'm putting down $100 worth of wrapped teeth, I'm borrowing $100 worth of wrapped teeth, but, but I don't have access to that. It's only once I've paid off my, my loan that I'll then be able to get access to both my collateral and the amount that I'm leasing. And it's telling me here, partial liquidation trigger is gonna be if wrapped ETH goes down to 950, which I'm hoping that's not gonna happen. Obviously, the more I borrow, the higher the partial liquidation trigger. Right, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna open this position. Right, this is actually the first time I've done a lease from Nolis, so I'm just trying to work out myself what is going on here in the lease section. Okay, excellent. This is showing me that I've got... Okay, so something's happening here. I think it's it's open as well, still opening the position. Um, I'll maybe come back to that shortly. They've got a white paper that's pretty comprehensive. Definitely worth reading that if you're interested in finding out more about Nolis Protocol. Just checking here on the assets section. Okay, so it's not it's saying I've got no USDC. Interesting. I think that's because I've already put it into this earn section here. So essentially I've put in $100 and I'm earning some interest on that. And I've also put in $100 worth of wrapped ETH and then leased another $100 worth of wrapped ETH. What I could have done is just buy $200 worth of wrapped ETH and, and hoped that that goes up in, in price. The reason that I'm using Nolis to deposit $100, I mean, I'm, I'm earning interest, 20% APY on $100, and I've still got exposure to $200 worth of wrapped ETH. So I'm still hoping that wrapped ETH is going to go up in value. Assuming, imagine wrapped ETH goes up, in like does a 2x over six months i'll be able to pay off my lease still be in profit and i'll also have had the profit from earning interest for half a year on 100 dollars. not a huge amount but basically a little bit more gains than if i just bought some crypto and held it let's have another look back in this lease section see if that's finished right excellent so it's just showing here it seems really clear yeah shows me how much down payment I've done. And essentially what's happened here is the amount that I leased, um, $100 worth of wrapped teeth, money was used from the depositor's money to buy some wrapped teeth, which is then given to me, or, or not given to me, but is has been bought on my behalf as long as I, and there's this repay section. So I essentially have to repay my outstanding debt as well as the interest. And the interest was what, about 13% or something. So it's telling me here, principal and the accumulated interest comprise the outstanding debt. So this is gonna sort of go up at about 13, was it 13 and a half percent maybe, per year, which is less than the 20% that I'm going to be earning here. So, and then hopefully as well, the value of wrapped teeth is going to go up 2x, 3x, 10x. What's it going to be? Um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I like the interface on Nolis. It does make sense in my head. Okay, look at this portfolio value. So even if I refresh that, it's gonna still be 300. So I've put in $200, but I've now got $300 worth of assets. 
I'm using $100 of my own money in this earning section, and in the lease section, the $100 that I started with is now $200. But obviously I've got the debt of currently $100 or so, which will be increasing at this rate of 13.5%. Hopefully you found this discussion of Knowles Protocol useful. I'm not encouraging anyone to use it or to not use it, just showing you what I'm doing on the Cosmos 365 challenge. If you've got any questions, comments or criticisms about TFM or Knowles Protocol, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.